Good morning and welcome back to the Social Stack 66 Day Challenge, Get Started in Social Media. I'm Amy Stack and today is day 49 of our challenge, how to create a YouTube thumbnail. In this challenge, you will learn the three key elements to making a YouTube thumbnail, which is the graphic that gives viewers a preview of what your video will cover. Before we get started, if this is your first time here and you want to learn more about marketing with technology for your business, start now by subscribing to my channel. Just click that red subscribe button and then the bell icon. Just like we use Canva for the channel art, I'm going to use Canva again to create our thumbnail. If you do not have an account, you can sign up for free or upgrade to a pro account using my affiliate link in the description of this video. I'm going to open up Canva. And what I want to do is show you some examples of thumbnails and talk about the three key elements of what to include in them when you are designing them. So I am just in my Canva account and I'm going to into the search field here. I'm just typing in YouTube and we'll see some options and we want YouTube thumbnail. So I'm going to click that. And here are a ton of great examples, inspiration and templates for you to create your own. So number one, you want to make sure that your thumbnail is clear and not cluttered. So you want to make sure there's not too much going on. You don't want it to be too distracting. You can see that even when there's a full picture in the background, how it's faded into the background here with the palm trees. We've got one person as our subject in here with a few words. So you can see that they're all pretty simple because they are going to be small like this. So you don't want it to be too hard to see what's going on. So keep it clear and not cluttered. The second key element is to make sure that your thumbnail is telling a story. You don't have to write out a novel. You just want it to be a visual story. So something exciting, intriguing. Like today's ingredient is curry. Ooh, I bet this is going to be a story about cooking with curry. Nuclear revenge. That's sucking me right in. What are they going to be talking about? Okay, so these are the types of things you want to do. Just make sure it's intriguing. Pizza challenge, I bet there's a good story behind that. Training your puppy, who doesn't love cute, fluffy little animals? Okay, and the third key element is to direct focus. So this dog is actually a great example of that. The dog is facing the text here, so how to train your puppy. Okay, again, our girl over here that's singing, even though we can't see her eyes, she's still facing the words in here. The surfboard is pointing in the direction of the text. Our girl here is facing the words again. Okay, so you want to direct focus in your images to make sure that your viewer's eyes are looking to the focal point that you want them to look at and make sure that they're seeing the information you want them to see. So those are our key elements. Make sure it's clear and not colored, colored, <laughs> clear and not cluttered that you're telling a story and that you're directing focus at the most important part of that thumbnail. Okay. So now that we've talked about that, I am, I'm going to go back a step really quick, just in case you missed it. I've gone into Canva and I just typed in YouTube in the search bar right here and I'm going to click YouTube thumbnail and you can see if you're not using Canva for this that your template needs to be 1280 by 720 to make the right size for that thumbnail. Okay, you choose whichever one that sticks out to you and then you can actually, if you don't aren't super happy with any of these and you don't want to hunt through a whole bunch of them, once you've clicked on a template, you can use the search bar up here in the top left. And I'm just going to type in homes for real estate. And this one's a cute template. So I thought I'd do something other than list a property because we see lots of property listings all over YouTube already. 
So what I thought was here's a template that says quick and easy DIY home decor. So maybe you want to do something about how to style your home if you're getting ready to move. All right. So I just called it seven staging tips for selling your home. You could do the seven best staging tips for selling your home. That might be a little bit more intriguing. Tell a little bit more of a story. And then what does it say down here? Home decor you can make with the stuff you already own. So that's a great idea to run with. Learn to use what's already in your home. All right, because sellers are already spending a bunch of money fixing up, you know, repainting, maybe updating cabinetry or something like that, redoing a bathroom to give more value to their home for when they go to sell it. So being able to utilize what's already in their home instead of going out and purchasing a whole bunch of staging items is a, is a great way to provide some value to people that might be considering selling. So you could add other photos if you didn't like these. You could change the color. So if you have a brand palette and your color isn't beige, maybe you use purple. Oh, that's a bright one. Here we go. Maybe you use purple in your in your company. You can change the colors to match accordingly. Okay. There we go. Tell you a nice little color story. And if you want to use your own photos, you can upload your own. You can also come to the photos section here and search for whatever you think you might want to put into those images. So if I want that, maybe I can find something with a fun accent that matches my brand already. Now with the pro account, you can see, oh, there's a lot of cool stuff in here. With my pro account, you can see I have a whole bunch of photos. See all of these that say pro, they're included in my account. Um, if you have a free account, you will have to pay to use these individual images. Oh, that's not really home decor here. That is. All right, so you, you get an idea of how you can search for photos here and drop them right in. And now we're telling a story with color. We Our images are matching our text here. It's simple, it's clean, and we're making a point about what is happening in this video. So there is my thumbnail for the seven best staging tips for selling your home. And then you can do a video talking about those, those tips and providing valuable information to people that are getting ready to list. So that is going to conclude the training for today. We will talk about uploading those thumbnails when we work on adding our video into YouTube. So go ahead and tell me in the comments what you're going to make your first thumbnail about. So that's also going to be what is the topic of your first video. Then that'll conclude our training and you can join me tomorrow at 7.30 a.m. Central Time again for our next challenge where we'll be talking about how to upload your video to YouTube. I'll see you then.